waving the gift. I know, I saw it. Oh, okay, I didn't, we haven't met yet. I don't know if you're joking or not. Is he looking at you? 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 Watch carefully. I'm going to take you three of spades. It goes down the middle of the deck. First thing I'm going to do, this is called the rigging. It doesn't have anything to do with the trick. It just looks cool. It makes you smile like that. You can always use a little more sunshine in Seattle. So, Claire, all I'm going to do is just... Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to take your car... I'm going to take the five of hearts off the top. Watch it carefully. When I slide the five of hearts through the deck, it'll actually turn right back into your car. I know, right? Now... If you're wondering where the five of hearts went, if I wave your card across the table just like this, it will actually turn right back into the five of hearts. And I'll show you how this trick works. This is actually an LCD screen. If you push that button, it will turn back into your card. It's part of the new iPhone 20 package. It was released at midnight last night. If you guys want to pick one up, they only come in blue, but they're only $100 a piece. I'm going to get someone today with that. Okay, Claire, do you want to see a good trick now? Yes. Yeah. Wait, you guys seen that wasn't a good trick? I'm working hard out here. I'm just teasing. Claire, look, I'm going to take your card that three spades with your name on it. All I want you to do is push your card the rest of the way in the deck. Make sure it's not sticking out of my mouth. Claire. Oh, I gave you one job. I didn't even here. You know what? Let's just move on to something else, Ms. Claire. Here's what we're going to do. Just so you guys know, everything that I do out here is done with a regular deck of bicycle playing cards. This is not a trick deck. I know it might look like one when I do stuff like this or this, but trust me, it's not in the cards. It's just me. These are just made of dead trees. All right. Now watch carefully, guys, to the two black and the two red aces, okay? First off, we have, watch carefully, Claire, we have the ace of diamonds, okay? Let's set that under the cube so it's a blow away. Then on the bottom, we have the ace of hearts. So which one is on top right now? Hearts or diamonds? Right, and then on the bottom? Perfect, easy. Watch carefully though on the count of three, they will switch places. One, two, three. Do you see him switch? You saw him? You mean you saw him switch with the black ones? Your eyes are faster than hers. She didn't see it. Look how surprised she looks. See, that's why you eat all your vegetables. You know what? I did that trick too fast. Anyhow, I ruined it. Let me just slow it down for you guys. I drink a lot of coffee. I'm from Seattle. I apologize. Look, we have the Ace of Clubs. I'm going to slowly sit it down. Then on the bottom, we have the Ace of Spades. Right now, Claire, where's the Ace of Spades at? Is that where to go? You think it's up here, but it actually is down here on the table. So people confuse left hands with tabletops. That's okay. When I snap my fingers, they turn back to red, and nobody remembers what just happened the clear. Look, I can't do that trick any slower, but I can do one that's better. So Claire, would you select for me, please, any one of the four aces that are down on the table right now? Not that one. Sorry. I'll stop doing that. So here's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do for this trick is keep an eye on the ace of hearts. The other three do not matter. So right now, you guys can help Claire out. Where is the ace of hearts, Claire, at this very moment? There, let's sit right there. You want to bet a thousand dollars? No, Claire, you should have bet. You would have won a thousand dollars. Oh, Claire! Oh. I'm just teasing. I would have snapped my fingers and turned it black anyhow. Look, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the ace of hearts, you guys, and slide it down the middle of the packet with the rest of the aces. When I snap my fingers, though, it actually jumps back to the top. Over and over again, as a matter of fact, I could throw that ace of hearts across the street. Or I could send it by UPS to the moon, like they don't do it. Well, if they did, I could and snap my fingers and they'd still come back. Do you want to know why it's so hard to follow the ace of hearts? Just watch this. These are actually all kings. Yeah. You guys want to play poker for money later? No, it's okay. Look at my back pockets, the ace of hearts. And the other three I keep on top of the deck just in case I need them for an ace trick. And now I'm going to show you guys a good trick. But first, Claire, would you mix this up for me, please? And... Miss Lizzie, would you please scramble that for me? Now, don't take it easy on me, you guys. Mix it up real well. I am a professional. Well, as professional as you could be on a street corner during the daytime. The kids get that joke. It's your fault. I'm a street performer. You became a parent too early. So this next trick I'm about to show you guys is by far my favorite. 
It was invented in 1975 by a magician down in Seattle, South Seattle. Well, you guys probably don't know any better, so I actually invented this trick yesterday. I hope you guys like it. Uh, Miss Clara, would you give me a hand with this trick? Would you just hold your hand like that for me, please? Now, I'm going to give Clara a, ba a black king to hold in her hand, okay? Now, without looking, what color is that king right now? I'm not a wizard, Clara. It's just a card trick. Go ahead and flip it over. It's still black. It's okay. Go ahead and hold on tight. Look, I have the red king right here in my left hand. When you say go, you're going to switch places. Did you see him switch places, Claire? You did? I just want to make sure you're still awake. Don't be quiet over there. No, I like to do it slow so that when I do it fast, it looks even faster. And this is how it goes. I go like this. One two, three, and they're going to switch right in our hand. It didn't happen yet, so don't move, but watch carefully. One, two, three. Did you feel the black and the red king switch places? Yes. With the jokers, you felt that? Go ahead and flip them over. Oh, now she's doubles and black. And watch this. The kings are actually in your back pocket right now. I'm just joking. I made you look. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, just when you think it can't get any better, here's what we're going to do. My name is Ron Duffy, and I'm one of the world's fastest Rubik's Cube solvers. I'm going to solve these Rubik's Cubes one at a time. The first one with two hands very quickly, and the second one with only one hand with a few added challenges. And, guys, and I do have a timer on my iPhone, so you don't even have to count along. All you got to do is just watch and enjoy the show, or you can just yell nice things about me while I work. Okay. All right. Claire, are you ready? Uh -huh. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that lady's jumping up and down. All right. Let me get started before she gets her head on. <laughs> it's going to be about 20 more minutes, you guys. <laughs> I'm just joking. That was 17 seconds. No, I apologize for the wait. No, no, no. My hands are a little sore today, so that took a while. I'm just joking. You're right to laugh. That was very fast. <laughs> now, look, for the grand finale, just when you think it can't get any better, I'm going to solve this Rubik's Cube with only one hand. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to spin this book on my finger the entire time as close to Clara's face as possible. Can you lean forward a little bit, please? I'm just joking. <laughs> now, here's what we're actually going to do. I'm going to hula hoop while I spin this book on my finger and solve this Rubik's Cube all at the same time just because I can and people seem to like it. Point in case, this young lady right here hippity hopping around. Now I want you guys to prepare yourselves. This is probably going to change your lives forever. It might not, but it will make you smile. And that is a step in the right direction. Also, you might want to get your iPhones out because nobody is going to believe you when you tell them about this later. And like, there was a guy at the market doing what? Why would anyone do that? So just in case, and you guys thought this was possibly a trick the first time around, that is exactly why I do this grand finale. Because clearly, there is no way that you can think solving a Rubik's Cube with one hand while simultaneously spinning a book in the other hand doing a hula hoop, and not to mention just taking the time to tell y'all about it. And if you didn't notice, I'm actually rolling a cigarette with my feet right now. You look, I know y'all laugh because you look, joke's on you, this is Seattle, that's not a cigarette. <laughs> now again, my name is Ron Duffy and I am a professional street performer. This is how I make my living, so your tips are very much appreciated. Uh, that being said, this is why you kids should all stay in school, okay? <laughs> Seriously, street performing isn't for everybody. This is hard work, plus your mom will be really mad at you. It's not a joke, my mom's pissed. <laughs> also, I dedicate this to all the ladies who don't think that men can multitask. There you have it, once and for all, ladies and gentlemen. You guys can clap, I won't blush, it happens all the time. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, thank you. Now, no pushing or shoving on your way to the tip jar. There are some kids up front. Unless you have a 10 or a 20, just kind of shove them out of the way. I'm just joking, there's a lot of cameras still rolling. Just be, just be gentle and patient. Thank you guys very much. Now, remember, kids, practice makes perfect, so be careful what you do. You're going to get good at it.
Thank you guys very much. You guys all enjoy the market today? It's going to get sunny in about an hour. Don't worry about this cloud cover.